Where is she? She's in a town in New Jersey. She's working as a waitress. At a place called the Seaside Restaurant? Yes. How did you know that? Who's the guy? I don't know. I, I really don't know. What were you doing down there, Maggie? I was at Eddie's, and he told me where I could find Jill. So I went down to the restaurant to find them, and I saw them out on the dock together. Frank, I was only trying to help. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You and Siobhan and Max, you were just trying to help. You have an old chat with my wife and her new husband, right? I didn't talk to her, and I didn't see Max there. Well, Max was down there. Roger was down there. Who else Roger? was down there? Yeah, Roger was down there. That's why he was over here this morning, gloating about it, because he knows all about it. Yeah, he was here today. Seems like everybody knows about it except for me. I mean, when are you going to let me know about it? Next year or something? Don't go to jail. You're only going to make things worse. Please don't go. Maggie, let go of me. She doesn't deserve you, Frank. I've got to do this. It's my problem. I'll do it my way. Wait. Just stop for a minute and think about this. Give me the keys, Maggie. I know what you're going here, Frank. I would do the same thing when Dave left me for Katie. It's better to walk away. Give me the keys. Give me the keys, Maggie. I'm just going to have a drink and think about things. No, we're not going to have a drink and think about it, Maggie. You're going to give me the keys, right? I'm not going to walk away from the woman I love. No! Don't! <laughs> Dakota, I thought you were on your boat today. I thought you were taking it out. Well, I, I was going to, but I said there are only fish out there. Why don't I, uh... Why don't I go see if I can catch myself a pretty little lady? Have you seen it? Around here? No, but I mean, I could walk real slowly to catch me. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> You're pretty smart, you know that. I feel good when you're here. Well, I'll just have to stay here all day. <laughs> just to make you smile. Okay. I'm in charge here. There's no one else to blame. Yet. Oh, come on. There's no proof that anything has been happening on this service except a monumental case of mismanagement. Just a minute. Before you run to Roger with your resignation in hand, let me ask you something. Do you? Or don't you think something fishy is going on down here? I do. Okay. Then it's not your fault. You just don't understand. I understand you're a nice lady with a lot of trouble. I'm not about to let you get fired for something that is not your fault. Oh, Betty, there you are. Am I interrupting something? No. Hello, Gloria. Jack? You know where to find me. Actually, Jack, this concerns you, too. Can you spare a minute? Sure. Well, I'll be frank. I just talked to Roger. He says that your imagination has been running wild and he doesn't know how long you're going to last. Good news to you, I suppose. No, it's not. I know how valuable you are to this hospital. And if you and Jack think that something's going on in the ambulance service, well, then I believe you. You do? Yes, I do. Now, you know I'm running for chief of staff, right? Right. So if I win, I'll be counting on your service to keep up its usual high standards. I mean, the care you give reflects the hospital as a whole, and I don't want any surprises down the line. So if I can, well, I'd like to help. We can use all the help we can get. What do you think's going on? Well, it started with unaccounted for mileage. Oh, yeah, Roger filled me in, but... Well, what do you think's behind it? Well, I think somebody's using the ambulances to smuggle something out of the hospital. The question is what? Drugs. What else could it be? Yeah, I think so, too. But we've been over every car, so the police, and so far, nothing. So? Let's give it another try. you, Maggie? How dare you? Oh, well, don't worry. I'm going to leave a note for Beth telling her I'll, uh, I'll pay her back. He's cheap. You knew that Frank didn't know about you. <sighs> Spilled the beans, did you? You knew that I didn't want to be the one to tell him, Roger. Don't you even feel sorry for me? Why, why 
why would I feel sorry for you? Well, I probably missed the highest drama of the century. But do, do tell me about it, and, uh, and word for word. And, and don't spare any details when it comes to the part about uh, that dress. You're lying to me, Roger. Well, live and learn, kid. Live and learn. Why? Why do you do it? Why are you trying to ruin my, relate, my friendship with Frank? Friendship? I wouldn't exactly call it that. Well, what do you care what it is? What do you care what I'm after? And why do you always have to get in the way? Well, it's because... Well, you see, I just enjoy watching you hang yourself. You are a sick, sick man. And you, my darling, are a sick, sick woman. Care to dance? I hate you. You have no idea how much I hate you. What is the matter with you two? You're fighting like a couple of children. Why are you dressed like that? Maggie, what on earth is going on here? I didn't want to be the one to tell you, Mama, that I found you. What? Well, how? Where? Um, what a terrible thing. She's broken Frank's heart. I think I'll pass on that one. Look, look, Roger, do, do you know anything about this? Yeah, well, look, why don't you ask Maggie, and Bess, while you're at it, why don't you also ask her what she was doing wearing that wig the other day? All right. Come on, out with it. I don't want to talk about this. I'm going... You're, you're not going anywhere, young lady, until you tell me everything. 